What's up, boys? What's up? What's up? What's up? All right, so uh, Travell's gonna go over leg attacks. Uh, he's gonna go over leg attacks. So I'm gonna go over. I'm gonna go over finishes this morning, and then I'm gonna go over some scrambling stuff this afternoon. So first thing about finishing, right? You gotta get to the leg, and it's, I'd say probably getting to the leg is one of the easier parts. Finishing is always one of the more difficult parts. So I'm gonna start with. Head inside single, uh, first go to finish it, and also head outside single. But I think it's important you got to be uncomfortable with both sides. It doesn't matter what my what my attack strategy is. If I'm a guy who attacks me open, if I'm from a tie up, if I have a perfect shot, if I have a bad shot, it doesn't really matter. But at some point in the matches, guaranteed, I'm going to be here. I'm going to be here, right? I know that. I know that when I wrestle, the more that I shoot, the more I throw myself in there, the more I'm going to be here. If you want to get good at finishing, bottom line, you got to shoot, you got to put yourself in there. All right? You don't get good at finishing by just wishing that it happens. All right? So the more you shoot, the more you put yourself in position, the more you figure it out. That's how, that's how wrestling works. Works. So don't be afraid to take risks. Never should anyone ever tell you, hey, don't take any risks. Especially not in practice. Right? When you guys are wrestling in this tournament, and this, you know, you'll meet at Wabash College this summer. I'm not going to come back next year and point down and say, hey, what was your record at Wabash last year? But it doesn't really matter. The only thing that really matters is trying to get better. You can get better by taking risks and trying to figure things out in the summer. Because in the college season, during your high school season, during your middle school season, during your elementary season, you're trying to win matches, right? We know that. But in the, high, in, in, in the summer, that's when you're trying to get better wrestling. So that's when you take the skills that you learned. I know you guys have had a lot of great clinicians this week. Take the skills that you learned. You've got to apply them. Apply them today. There's no reason to wait. Don't wait till tomorrow, don't wait till next week, don't wait till next year. Take it while it's fresh in your mind, write it down, and work on it. That's how you get better at it, all right? So, we're gonna get better, we're gonna get better at finishes here this morning, so I'm just gonna start. Shoulders are a little sore, but I'm gonna start just head inside single. Raise your hand if you've been here. Everybody raise your hand. Raise your hand, right, if you've been here. All right, so, also, never practice bad habits. Right, so I don't want to see this. I don't want to see us go here. Take a great single leg shot, and then have this guy scroll on us, and then start here. Because I'm going to go that half. I don't want to learn. I don't want to develop a shoot and stop. And I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to start in here. All right, so I want you guys to start in here on a single leg. This guy sprawl out. Very first thing I just want this guy to stretch his shoulders out. So he's going to sprawl. But what I want to do is I just want to learn to be able to keep my hands on as long as possible. I have long arms, but it's not really bad. I have flexible shoulders and a strong back. Right for those pull-ups. For those a lot of pull-ups. Make sure you do a lot of pull-ups. Right? Pull-ups. This finishing is all about back strength. Right? Learning back strength and flexibility. So you have flexible shoulders, but every day before we have to stretch your shoulders out. So nice and real, real nice and easy. I get in here, I lock my hands. This guy's gonna sprawl out. Right? And I'm just gonna keep my hands locked. And he's gonna walk right. I'm gonna keep my hands locked and square up with them. He's gonna walk left. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Nice and easy. So walk left, I'm just gonna square up with them. Notice I'm not letting him get an angle, right? So go ahead and try to run the court. If he grabs my ankle, now I'm in trouble, right? So I got to learn as he squares, as he tries to circle, go ahead, circle. I'm circling with him, I'm staying square, right? Finishing is all about being patient. Because I know that eventually, as he takes corner, that's my build up. It's gonna be really hard for me to finish. If he's just sprawled out, he's got you know his 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 posts in my legs, it's gonna be really hard for me to finish here. But if I stay patient and I wait for this guy to take corner on me, that's when I start to finish. Alright, so finishing is about patience. So I'm starting here again. This guy stretch his shoulders out, he's gonna stretch you out, walk right, I'm gonna square up with him, walk left, and then switch legs. Do the same thing, sprawl out. All right, he sprawls out, goes right, I square up, goes left, I square up. Each guy do that a couple times, we'll bring it back in. Just make sure our shoulders are nice and warm, right? One, two, three.